Hey guys, this is JNT, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. For those of you who have been uh, watching my, or uh, who have seen my update video, this is the first clip that I'm doing on the new computer. I'm still using the same old emulator and everything, so um, there are a few things with graphics and such that aren't the best, but um, I think it's going to run better, and I think I've got uh, better sound and everything. Anyway, last time we reached the end of the Temple of Courage, so it's time to face the boss. Cryak, Bane of Courage. Now, you may have noticed uh, on the top screen that the boss just kind of vanished. And the top screen is a little different from what we usually see. What we have up there is actually the point of view of the boss itself. So, look at the top screen. And use it. Well, you use it to, uh, to see or to figure out where the boss is and to, more or less, shoot him in the face. Whoa! Ran into him. That doesn't usually happen. Anyway, just get good and far away. Point your bow and arrow and... <clears throat> watch the top screen. Once you uh, shoot him, you'll see that he retreats inside of his shell. And once he's in his shell, uh, all we've got to do is break those little uh, purplish crystals that he has on him. So right now, oh, coming our way. There he is. So yeah, break these. I'm doing a terrible job of it this time. There we go. That's a little better. I think he's got one left. Whoa. Bone arrow, bone arrow, bone arrow. There. Whew. Oh, so close. Okay, this is really not working out too well. I did the test build video earlier, and this went so much smoother. There we go. Finally. Break all the little purple crystals, and you break the shell. Ah. Once you break the shell, attack his claws. He'll go on the defensive for a few seconds. It gives you some time to attack his tail. Just watch out for the little guys. They keep regenerating, by the way, so there's no reason, there's no point in, uh... There's no point in trying to beat them, other than to get a little extra life. 
or arrows or whatever you happen to need. And there you have it. You got more sand for the Phantom Hourglass. Two minutes have been added. You look just like me. What happened? Something seems weird. Something's odd, but you got the spirit of courage. Maybe now you can find the ghost ship? And we got a heart container, of course, as always. Well guys, uh, we got a little bit of time left, but I'm going to end the video here, partly because this is kind of a test, and partly because we've got a bunch of uh, cutscenes and text and story and stuff coming up. So um, we'll continue on next time. Once again, I am Jay on T, and we are playing through The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Have a great day, guys. See ya.